Hi and welcome to JTech WP. Today we're going to learn how to make a 2017 iMac super fast using a Sabrent rocket and a Wavelink enclosure. To order the components, check out the links in the description below and you'll be able to buy them. The main advantage of using an NVMe drive is speed. These things are crazy fast. This one comes in 256, 512 gig, one terabyte, two terabytes and four terabytes. The Wavlink UTE02 uses Thunderbolt 3 giving you a much higher speed than USB 3.1 at 10 gigabits a second. It'll also work with your iMac so you could use that as a boot drive. It's a really nice looking device and it's quite small and compact too. The Thunderbolt 3 cable is secured in place with a screw so it won't come undone. The cooling on it is excellent, I've been running it for a few days now and it's not overheated. It's ideal for photographers, video editors and 3D designers. So let's have a look inside the box. We've got the NVMe enclosure, the red heatsink with three push pins, and we've got the silver tool set, which unscrews into three parts. Fitting is really simple. Get a nail underneath the edge, lift off the top cover, and this little screw here was actually surprisingly hard to undo, so just be aware of that. So remove that screw, now we can get our NVMe drive. Make sure the pins are lined up correctly. Angles in slightly. Lower the rear end down and it snaps into place. Now you can replace the screw. Put on the heat cover. So I pop our three, three lugs into place. Replace the top cover. It has little plastic clips on the side, so it may require a tiny bit of adjustment to get it to sit flush on the housing. And then eventually it will snap into place. On each side there are three little screws that need tightening up, but don't over tighten them. Also it has the Thunderbolt 3 cable with a screw connector on. This is to stop you accidentally pulling it out, so I push the pin in and tighten that up. There we go, it's ready. So now I just plug in the Thunderbolt 3 cable to the iMac and it should appear on the home screen. Before we format the drive, make sure you have a backup. There's a link in the description below. I use Backblaze. Your system is backed up in real time. You can back up multiple drives, including external hard drives and NAS drives. Backblaze offer a free 15 day trial. Click on try it free. It will take you to a sign up page. Once you've signed up, download the installer, follow the instructions and your cloud backup will begin. At the very least, create a time machine backup. Let's crack on with the setup. Click on Launchpad. I'm now going to open up Disk Utility so I can format the drive ready to install the operating system on it. So I find my new drive so you can see it showing as an external drive. I click on Erase. Give it a name, so I'm going to call it Sabrent Rocket. And for the format, I'm going to select Mac OS Extended Journaled and GUID Partition Map. And press Erase. And I've got NTFS for Mac on my system, which shows up different drives. So I press OK. And you can see now that the formatting is finished. So I press Done. I don't want to use it as a uh, Time Machine backup, so I click Don't Use and your drive is formatted, ready to go. I ran a Blackmagic disk speed test on the Sabrent Rocket and I was consistently getting write speeds of around 1,900 megabytes a second and read speeds of 2,400 megabytes a second, which is significantly faster than uh, like a Fusion drive. To get the install to work correctly on this, I had to shut down the Mac, hold down Command and R to start the recovery mode, reinstall Mac OS and choose a Sabrent Rocket, then install. 
So it, it takes a bit of a while. You have to wait for a Mac OS to download the operating system. Once it's done that, you can select which drive you want. You see now the installer's running. Uh, so I'm just literally going to let that run through at higher speed. And then you go in, you fill in all your details like your country, select your Wi Fi network, enter your Wi Fi password. I'm skipping most of the steps here. So I set up my name, my account name, uh, my password, choose an icon, and we're done. It's good to go. Go to System Preferences, Startup Disk. Check to see if Sabrent Rocket is selected. If it's not, unlock to make changes. Enter your password. Select the correct drive. Then lock. And then close the window. The load times on this NVMe drive are absolutely fantastic. They are super quick. I ran some tests with Chrome, Safari and Final Cut. And as you'll see, they are rapid. Literally like one bounce, boom, and it's done. Same with Safari, super quick and Final Cut. I'm ready to edit within about three seconds. This drive does have a few problems. I tried to install the OS through the normal method where you download Catalina from the App Store and run the installer. It all seemed to be going okay, apart from the fact that once I'd finished doing it, it just got stuck on a black screen and a boot loop, and the original OS using the Fusion Drive uh, was the main one it booted from. So in the end, I had to use a restore to get it to work. So uh, yeah, it's not perfect. And also, if you leave it to go to sleep every now and again, you'll end up with a beach ball spinning and the whole system's frozen, and you have to do a hard reset, holding down the power button, power it up. But other than that, it is crazy fast. Overall, it's a fantastic drive for the money, and there's no way I would go back to using Fusion Drive after using the NVMe. Having the 40 gigabits a second in the enclosure, around about the 2,400 megabytes read speed, ah, oh, it's just, it makes the whole system super snappy. So I'd highly recommend that if you work in media, uh, do any photo editing, video editing, that yeah, an NVMe drive should be on your list of things to buy. Thanks for watching guys and make sure you press the like button and smash that subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.